2011, week 33. Hey everyone! For this week, I grabbed some cards from the Sweet Stamp Shop on Cherry Street Reflections Kit. Having used it on my week 32 layout, I knew that the cards would complement the spread perfectly. While working on this layout, I kept the other page out so I could get a good flow not only for the individual week, but also for the overall spread. The first thing I did was add a little extra journaling to some 3x4 grid cards that I'll cut down and add to some prettier cards. Sometimes when I'm writing, I'll add an underline, even a happy or frowny face. I write a lot like I speak, so when I make a face while writing, it seems pretty fitting to add it to the card. Then I got my title in place on the 4x6 card. I picked out these bright pink thickers as they complemented the other colors on the page so well. To start with elements, I first reached for my gold box. I had a few pops of gold on the facing page, so I knew I'd want to include some here. The first thing I grabbed was a glittery sticker, which had a balance of this teal sticker on the opposite side. There was also a gold heart on the top of a teal card on the opposite page, so it was a perfect way to make a little visual triangle of color. I didn't want to overdo it with the gold, so I just kept it to a few items. I don't have many purple elements, but I do have this lavender colored bow that fit perfectly when talking about all the items I wear at work. For the teal, there was some bold on the page and also a lighter teal, so I wanted both to be shown. Then I grabbed some orange to highlight the same pops on the opposite page, as well as yellow, blue, and pink. No page is complete without some wood veneers, so I had to grab one of those as well. Then it was time to start putting everything down. A combination of staples, pop dots, runner adhesive, and a brad. Pretty much whatever would keep it down. For the brad, I gave it a little help by piercing a small hole with my scissors before pushing it through the entire card. I'm a huge fan of staples and I love the way that they look on a page. When it comes to vellum elements, I don't have a favorite adhesive that doesn't show through, so I have no problem using a staple to hold the entire element down. Then it was time to put all the items into pockets and be done. I'm so happy with the way that this page came out, and when looking at the spread open, it flows perfectly.